Hey, welcome back to Redwood Acres and the workbench. So we have obviously a new Lily Go device. This is the T-Beam Supreme. It's using the their T-Beam S3 core. Um, and we picked this up recently, just finished printing the case. We're going to talk a little bit about the case uh, because there seems to be some questions about that, at least on printable. And I'll link the creator's link down below so you can check out his cases. Um, that he that he pr or that you can print the files from for personal use or you can purchase his cases off of etsy uh and then what are the differences between this and the standard t-beam and then of course you might be asking well i thought you said that the t-echo the lilygo t-echo was kind of the best one and it still really is for cost point to entry but i'm all about learning more and sharing with you guys and of course i can't do that if i don't have these devices um <clears throat> so let's get started about the case first then we'll kind of talk about the device a little bit and then we'll wrap this up in the next and then probably within a week or so you'll see me talking a little bit more about using it and my thoughts on that so we'll probably use it for our next range airborne range testing so um so just one thing i'll note about the case so these come, and I, I wish I would have gotten a photo before or, or some video. I'm going to throw in a stock photo here just so you can kind of see their configuration. The, in, the antenna stud is slid into a slot right here in this plastic piece. You're obviously going to have to slide it out of that slot, which is it's open in the back, so you can do that. Um, and then get it up in, into the frame here. Well, that's where some people have had some problems. You're going to have to remove the four screws that are on the corners here. So you see one down here one here and then one here and one here those screws are also you know what's going to hold the the module to the inside of the frame of your 3d printing case and then you're going to gently pry this away from the baseboard there and there the ipex connectors right here for the lilygo or for not the lilygo for the laura antenna it's going to go down and around through there there's some tape in there you're gonna to have to peel back there's enough slack in there as you can tell to safely get it up in here without damaging anything slide it up in here throw your washers and your jam nut on there and you're ready to go gps antenna is just has got the double-sided adhesive you're just going to gently peel that off there slide it into that slot the back part of the, the 3d printing case has a slot for it so obviously you have to orient it correctly or it won't mount flushly. <clears throat> All right, that's enough about the case. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. So the differences between the two, right? Well, I'm gonna say the number one thing and the reason why I picked it up was my complaint about these is the fact that the antenna is where it is and how the antenna attaches to the board. I just told you this one goes up through here. Well, guess what happens when you drop this? The impact goes into the 3d printed frame and maybe damages the frame that can be replaced this one when it drops the connector the sma connector is soldered right to the board so best case scenario you break solders the solders break worst case scenario um you crack the board and then the device is junk so that is a huge improvement additionally having it sit like that allows a lot easier carry because now it can like sit in a back pocket a front pocket the side pouch you know of a backpack or something like that and it's the antenna is pointing up where you want it so you're getting the right you know propagation or radiation pattern off that antenna the second awesome thing is it's usb-c instead of micro usb same like the t echo is a usb-c charge port so if you're looking on Rockland Technologies, which I will put a link down below, it's affiliate link for this device on Rockland, is this is the L the GPS module in this one. There's a little drop down there that'll show you on the side um, that it is an L76K GN, GNSS module. There, it's a compact GPS module, right? There's one that's available called the U-Box, which is a ultra professional ultra low power high performance gnss module well that one is 84 dollars and you have to pre-order it 
uh, and there's only 23 slots available for pre-order uh, on Rockland Technologies as of today, December 2023. Um, this one is 54.97, so pretty big difference. Uh, and I won't go into the details of the differences between the modules. If you're that interested, you'll you'll go on there and you'll check it out yourself. Uh, let's see, what are some of the other bonuses? I, you know, honestly, it's got Bluetooth, it's got Wi-Fi, just like the T-Beam. Uh, same 18650 setup. You can do a mod and add a, I think it's a 21, I'll put it in the, the 21171 or whatever battery. It's a larger capacity battery. You have to solder a different holder on, desolder this whole case. There is a 3D printing case that will adapt for that. So there's that. What do you guys think? We'll see what we think here soon. Uh, like I said, I'm going to get it up and running and use it as one of my nodes for our upcoming round four of our airborne repeater, airborne relay uh, testing, range testing. So we'll see how it works for us. Hopefully it works great. Oh, one last thing I forgot to mention, it does have a larger, that's a 1.3 1, 1 inch OLED screen. So pretty cool there, a little bigger screen, easier to read. Um, but not 100% necessary. So <clears throat> anyhow, if you guys want to join us over Telegram where we can collaborate, build networks, build community, create sub networks in your local community, that type of thing, ask questions, share information. It doesn't have to be solely one of the guys over there already. He's, uh, he's a commercial drone operator, so he's got a wealth of knowledge about that. He's uh, really avid in 3D printing, so he's got a wealth of knowledge about that. I've already learned some things from him about from that. So we can talk anything in this whole e-coms, emergency communications. I don't care where it goes. Come over there and join us. The link will be here in the right-hand corner. You can check out our website, theravenwoodacres.com. You can subscribe to the channel, so you make sure you can come back here and see all these great videos we're creating. Follow us at other social media links down, which are linked down below. And stay tuned for more. See you next time. Thanks for watching.